Welcome back everybody to the All Laptop Chronicles Nintendo Edition, continuing with my playthrough of Super Mario World with Chivos. So let's continue exploring the Forest of Illusion. Good start. Best possible start. Actually, I'm gonna get an achievement right now. There you go. It's only three points. But hey, it's points. Is it a good idea to get a star here? I need to hijack another cloud, actually, in order to get the secret exit. Oh, maybe a cape actually would solve things too. Can I actually kill this guy with a P-switch? Just, uh, let's get rid of him. And let's focus on the secret exit later. Most likely using a cape or something. Nineteen points. Yeah, this one only gets me to the water level again. So there is no, like, progress as such. I'll try not to get that one up for a while. I know it's hard. Like, my cock. Actually, no. Yeah, I'd rather get this than the star, to be honest. As long as I keep it, though, that's kind of important. Alright, that guy disappears actually after a while. Let's not get the checkpoint just in case. Fuck you! I don't know if I need a P switch for anything. No, I don't. But I'll press it here nonetheless, just for jokes. So I guess today's episode will be focused on um, doing the secret path of the Forest of Illusion. This is a little bit of a long world, especially since you have like a couple of different paths. One of them leads you obviously to the exit to World 6 and everything, but the other one takes you to, as you know, the Star Road. I don't know how to get all the Yoshi coins here because it depends on the platform you end up riding. Lost the cape. At least I got me this. Whoa! Okay, I should have died there. Yeah, that's what I got for being so greedy. Trying to get the Yoshi coin. But anyway. I somehow survived. Alright, the Yoshi coins here aren't too difficult to get. You can see them like for a, for a while. So you can kind of know in advance what platform to get. 40 points. I already got the achievement for the 50 points on the moon. So I don't have to worry about that. By the way, guys, thank you very much for all the support that I have received on this channel. Actually, I get very many, many, many views. I guess it's because it's Nintendo and Mario World. Like, I'm not gonna criticize you for liking what you like or for liking something like more than any other thing that I give you, which is probably more valuable on, on my eyes, but you still prefer me to play Mario over anything new that I show you. But, yeah, it's up to you, but I still thank you regardless. Even though I always say I wish you could watch the sa all the things I do with the same passion as you like Nintendo and Mario games specifically. I mean, I don't watch people play Mario ever. 
anymore. But apparently you guys don't mind watching the same game being played again and again. My main motivation to actually do this, as I told you a few episodes ago, is the achievements. Since I'm actually interested in collecting all this achievement thing. Okay, I actually can get an achievement now for getting to the other side. Here. Right? By flying. I didn't know there were potables! But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go for that. I am gonna go for that. But I didn't know there were potables there. If I would have known. Actually, I never got in that one. Well, there is a, an achievement for that, right? Let's confirm. It's gotta be. Here it is, access a secret area in the forest fortress. And you can see the icon, actually Mario is flying through the polo balls. The problem is that this area doesn't have, unfortunately, a checkpoint. So maybe I will spend the rest of the video trying to achieve this one. I mean, I knew I will, it was going to take me a third video to do the, the forest of illusion. I guess next time we will do the, like the regular exits and, and complete the world as such. But now I do want to focus on this. So yeah, this secret area thing, I wonder, actually, does it lead you to an actual exit? Or is it just a secret area in which you get something and then you have to die? I, I barely remember being able to get that one. And again, it might take me a while. But the idea is to do it on camera. I do want to get all the achievements on camera. When I can show you just this, and, and you will notice which achievements I got and which ones I didn't get. Okay, I don't know how I survived that. And I don't think I'll be able to get that special thing. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I was wondering because I still need like a, a minimum power up here. And of course I need to survive the rest. So my flying has to be near perfect in order to get that thing. Shit! Always forget about that. Alright. One more attempt. If I don't make it here, let's just go for a regular exit. And I guess I'll get this one or attempt to get this one. Okay, what the fuck? Do the flying thing. It's not... Did you see he, he kept like floating even though I was pressing back to do the the hovering move? So it's a control issue that I don't know. I guess I will have to execute better. Well, I guess that's the point of the achievements. Retry things. I mean I would have been able to get it right away if I were devastating or rewinding. Which is not the case. Well, that's why, for me, those are achievements. The things that you have to, like, deserve by trying, by doing things. So I'm not quite complaining, but yeah, I mean, it's something that probably is not suitable for a pre-recorded video because it will take many tries. Probably for a live stream, definitely. Dude, yeah, so rusty in this one. I just jump for it. I actually don't like think about anything else. And the problem is I don't have power-ups right now, so... Should be a little bit more careful, definitely. Actually, I remember this one and the Chocolate Island causing me a little bit of trouble. Ok, 
careful with the jump. It's just a matter of waiting a few seconds, that's all you need. There you go. Even though it's gonna be tempting, I'm gonna probably try again the, the lava thing at the last second, but no. Not this time. Let's go for Resnor. Fucking things! Stop responding! Stop responding! This is the recording curse, everybody. I mean, obviously this shouldn't be a difficult level for me. Yeah, also, the other scrolling. That actually is kind of tiresome, too. But yeah, I should have ended this level at least four or five minutes ago. And you guys are lucky to watch me try for the fifth time on camera. So for those who still like criticize the usage of seven states in general. Just uh, look at this video and see why they actually are a necessity and not just cheating or something that shouldn't be allowed according to gaming morals because yeah there are people that think that gaming morals exist who the fuck is calling me? I'm not gonna answer because it's probably telemarketers and here we go again and uh, fuck. the very same chancel or whatever the thing is. I'm not gonna end the video until I got it. I'm telling you. Well, you guys have a great advantage compared to anybody who would be watching this on a live stream, for example. You can fast forward the video, you can actually skip till the end, which is something I do actually sometimes when watching people video, uh, videos from, from YouTubers and, and the like. Because fuck editing, right? Honestly, I don't like editing, that's why. Seriously, I should have ended this, like, forever ago, almost six or seven minutes ago. And I'm dying in very dumb areas, that's the, the saddest part out of this. Yeah, in the first couple of attempts, I wanted to try something like... Super Secret. But for some reason, my controls are not working the way they should. Obviously, blaming it on something else. Okay, this time around should be able to at least make it to Resnor. And end this, once and for all. Okay, that took forever and a half, more or less. And guess what? I'll do it again. Because I do want to get this secret. At least one more attempt. I mean, besides, I wasn't even thinking of doing anything else on this video. Again, next time I'll do the rest of the, the Forest of Illusion. But I'll try to get this thing. One more time. But who knows, we might end up killing two birds with one stone. And I say one stone is basically one video. <laughs> we got it? Yes. 
should be a little bit easier now with the cape. And now that I know this uh, level by heart by now. Yeah, I say that as if I can get hit, right? Fucking dummy. Yeah, but I still should be able to get the cape. Hopefully. But I need to fly better. The problem is I have to fly to the very top and then start doing the, the hovering. But again, for some reason the hovering didn't work the first two attempts. Maybe I should start flying like in advance or, or before I get to the lava. I barely... Alright, got it, got it, got it, got it. Alright, I got the achievement regardless. <laughs> Access a secret area in this forest... Fortress. I think that was an extra life. But I got the achievement nonetheless. So, fuck you all. Even though I failed at the very end, but... Whatever. I did it. Alright, let's go get the normal exit in the water area since it's like the only one repeat I have to do right now. So let's do it right away. Also in order to compensate a little bit all the time waste in the fortress. At least we got what we wanted. Not only we were able to clear the castle, sorry, the fortress normally, which took me forever, I know. But also the secret, which is probably the one thing that I didn't know how long it would take me. I don't know, I thought they would give me the achievement the moment I landed on the platform, but there was no need to. I was close enough to to the edge, and then I activated it. Probably you activate it the moment you get to see it, which we did see it. Which I guess it's fair to to a certain point, to a certain extent. Again, I shouldn't go for the Yoshi coins. I, I should do a, like an entire different run. Other, another day, of course. Like, next year or so. Whatever. Just to get the Yoshi coins in every stage and get the achievements for that. I guess that's a real challenge now. Again, that's the magical retro achievements. The replay value element. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Okay, made it to the end. I think this was the Yoshi coin that I didn't get before. In the previous time. I don't know if they would count it. Doubt it. Motherfucker. So let's see, can I get 40 points so we can... Well, actually it wouldn't be enough 40 points to get the bonus game right now. But I got him, so yeah, 99 now. Anyways, almost 19 minutes. With just about enough progress, I guess. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.